Contact incoming. everywhere. Hydra missile launcher. I don't want it. I know. So I'm gonna try the data pad back here. You're not afraid of heights. I am afraid of heights. Finally, a little recognition. Actually, Arya, I'm target alpha. <laughs> Yeah, Arya, she's target alpha. You silly person. How did I miss that one? I'm so bad.
the bridge control. Alright, one bolt left. What's up, guys? Boom, 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 boom. Doors open. Let's go. Sweet. Hurry up. I need to get to my people. Boss, it's good to see you, boss. Yeah. Oh, we got some Krogans in here. There's a door here. Find the door, guys. We'll be evacuating this location as soon as possible. That's right, doors are overrated. Interfere with my people's work. Intel just reported in. The group of civilians we managed to evac arrived safely at the other outpost. So, routine sweeps reporting nothing new on the adjutant presence. Adjutants. Creatures created by Cerberus. They eviscerate their victims' DNA, converting them into more adjutants. Some kind of Reaper-based weapon. I fought them before. They're a nightmare. How have you guys They've fought these before and I haven't? Left. Cerberus lost control of them. Those things tore apart the gangs, then attacked everyone in sight. If Cerberus hadn't found a way to contain them, the entire station would be infected by now. Keeping your people alive through that couldn't have been easy. I watched friends get turned into monsters, and I had to kill them. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an outpost to defend. The adjutants really got under her skin. Mm. Take a look around. Hey, Commander. Hey, no problem, dude. Just reported into the boss. What's up, man? That talent face paint looks badass AF, though. Oh, you won't let me through, Krogan? What's over here? Oh, nothing. I thought there was more to this outpost. Alright, well. Go talk to Nixeris. Nixeris? No, Nyrene. Nixeris. backing off for now. Make sure the scouts keep an eye out for the next attack. You've done an excellent job, Nyrene. Female Turians look so different from male Turians. Crazy. You know what happens to people who argue with me. And if I say no, you'll just kill me and take over? My people won't stand for that. Yes, they do seem nauseatingly loyal. Either way, I'll get what I want. Not this time. The truth is, none of us can do this alone. Our only chance is to join forces. You might be right, but the people of Omega are my priority. You take over one gang and you think you're ready to decide what's best for Omega? Not really much, am I? As. Everything's in place. The entire station's connected. People of Omega. I have returned. Cerberus believes they have beaten you. They believe they have you under control. They are gravely mistaken. You are the lawless of the galaxy. Whoa. You cannot be beaten. 
and you will never be it's a buggy mess. Be ready. Your chance to strike out against your oppressors is coming. Together we will take Omega back. That's your plan? Throw civilians at Cerberus? Anything is better than being locked up like mindless animals waiting for slaughter. I know what you're up to, Arya. And I don't like it. I have civilians to evacuate. I'll deal with this later. All right, let's get these people ready to go. Now! What are you trying to do? Trying? The people of Omega. My people. Love a good street fight. When it breaks loose, they'll be ready. Nyrene's code of ethics won't let her sit by if civilians are exposed. It's what makes her utterly predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Cerberus is launching another offensive. Looks like I'm not the only one who didn't like your little speech, Aria. Glad I got his attention. Commander, landing pads are yours. My people and I will hold the main doors. Dope, got it. Let's go, baby. Baby? Oh, we go this, we go this way. Okay. On way. There's That's right, they're pulling out. Get out of here. The Talons will join your cause. Someone's got to make sure you don't run roughshod over our people. You see, Shepard. Let me guess. She said I was predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Pretty much word for word. She thinks she's playing me. Nothing new here. One thing, though. I maintain command over my people. This is not up for debate. Just have them ready. Oh, they'll be ready. They'll be ready. We're almost there, Shepard. The Talons will be the frontline fodder, now we just need to bring down the force fields to clear the way to afterlife. 
which will release Omega civilians. Cerberus will have a million fires to put out. In one fell swoop, we'll have the people in the Talons working for us. You might not want to compromise your alliance before it even takes shape. I've learned not to put much stock in truth and goodwill. It might be time to start again. Tell you what, I'll take it under advisement. Now, I'll be at the command console plotting our next move. Okay. Sure, Harriet, even though you're a... Harriet is a piece of shit, though. you know. Sure. I'll buy some stuff, why not? Bought everything, Harriet. Now how about you leave me alone? You're on lockdown. Yes, I see. Shepard, take a look at this. The general is siphoning power from one of my main reactors deep in the bowels of Omega's mines. Bowels. Unfortunately, access is cut off by the force fields themselves. Not completely. There's an open route through that dark area. Then up. Hmm. The processing plant for one of the mines. It's been powered down. No force fields blocking it. We infiltrate there, find our way through the mine, then take that elevator to the reactor's back door. Good eyes, Shepard. Let's go. Not without me. Arya, my patrol, caught her in the perimeter. Please, you didn't catch me. We're allies now. Didn't Arya tell you? Nyreen was expected, Bray. Return to your station. Yeah, Bray, you're useless. The Talons are ready, but if I'm sending my people into the breach, I want to make sure those force fields come down for good. So like it or not, you're stuck with me. It's almost as if you don't trust me. It's exactly as if I don't trust you. We're going to war together. I'll make sure we can rely on each other. Agreed, Commander. Glad one of you isn't on a power trip. Go wait by the med bay, Nyrene. We'll join you shortly. Shepard, I have last minute orders to dole out. I'll meet you there too. Word. Let's finish this up. I'm tired of Omega already. Shepard. I know time is short, but I was hoping we could talk. Alone. Arya will be joining us soon. Now may be our only chance. I'm not trying to undermine Arya. I know she has to be ruthless. Let her have revenge. I'm not doing this for me, and I'm not doing it for Arya or what we once had. It's for the people of Omega. I get it. Someone has to be their voice in all this. Incredibly powerful forces are about to do battle, with them caught in the middle. I just hope, as we bring down those force fields and go to war, that you can keep the people in mind. 
Are your people ready for the fight? You needn't worry about the Talons, Shepard. They were thieves and scoundrels once, but they serve with integrity now. We're fighting for a better world. I have to wonder if the same can be said for our Asari friend. I suppose we'll know soon enough. How did you get mixed up with Arya? And I was happy in the Turian military, but when my biotic abilities started to manifest, my superiors saw fit to reallocate me. They practically locked me away. I couldn't use my skills to benefit my people. So I quit. I floated around the galaxy, looking for a new purpose. And you found your way here? More like I lost my way here. But then there was this beautiful, fierce creature who didn't let anyone define her. I'll admit, I was mesmerized. I wanted a little bit of that to rub off on me. How close were you two? The draw was undeniable. Her strengths mirrored my insecurities. Maybe deep down it was the same for her. But trying to be with her turned into trying to be her. My ring Kandros was vanishing. You seem like your own person to me. For all the drama between us? I'm grateful to Ari. She helped me remember who I am. It took a lot to break away from her. But I regret nothing. What's your impression of Petrovsky? An adversary worthy of respect. And not just because he's shrewd. When I was starting to organize the Talons, he offered amnesty to anyone who set down their weapon. A few of my people surrendered. And he made good on his word. So he has a code. And, as near as I can tell, it doesn't exactly match the elusive man's. You're a veteran. Why are you so disturbed by these adjectives? I know fighting Reapers is old hat to you, Commander. But these... What they do to people? They could still be out there. And if they return, I don't want to even think about what would happen to Omega's people. The image of that drives me. And haunts me. What do you know about the Cerberus force fields? The technology comes from beyond the Omega-4 relay. Flesh disintegrates upon contact. The power required must be enormous. I fear that disrupting it could destabilize other systems on the station. I hope we'll proceed with care and certainty. I should go. I appreciate it, Nairi. I should go. We're heading out soon. I'll be ready. I am ready. Let's go. I should go. Shepard, need to talk? Nah. Not right now. Not right meow. All right. Whenever you're ready to move out, I'll be here. John hates my keyboard because it's so loud. I can almost taste it, Shepard. I love my loud keyboard, though. Once we stop the leeching of the reactor, my path to the general will be clear. Let's go. Well, aside from the thousands of troops standing between him and us. Details. We don't have time to waste. Is Same there something girl. you want to talk about? No. Not right now. All right, when you're ready, I'll meet you and Nirene at the exit by the med bay. Oh my god, can we go? All just just go. Jesus Christ. No! So lame. We're arriving at one of the ESO processing plants. It's been powered down, so we'll have to pry open the door. I'll get it. Access to the mine should be on the far side. And the reactor is beyond that? According to the schematics, I ran Omega and Irene. I didn't work the mines myself. No. You had indentured servants for that. Spirits. Relax. They're all Cerberus. They've been ripped to shreds. I don't like this. We're fine. We got this. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's why I got the clackiest of the clacky mechanical keyboards, because I like the sound a lot. He gets mechanical keyboards, but he doesn't like the sound, so he gets browns. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Let's just run. Let's just let's just let's just run. <sighs> That's some gory shit right there. More dead. It's a bloodbath. I got a bad feeling. We shouldn't be quiet. What's that sound? An adjective. Definitely don't like having those sounds in those headphones. Cause it's like going around and stuff, and like, ugh, ah. creepy. I don't like it. I don't like it. The elevator to the mines is through that door. It's deactivated. But we need to power this place up. There should be a master circuit breaker somewhere. Need to find the power breaker. Follow the pipe. I'm so agile. Maybe the adjutant doesn't like its odds. Don't kid yourself. I've seen one of those things take down a squad of soldiers. No, but I'm worth more than a squad of soldiers. I am. Pretty awesome. Down this ladder. There's the power control. When this is over, there'll be a lot of repairs to make. I hope you'll focus on the civilian areas first. You are relentless. <laughs> That's one thing we have in common. Spirit. Unload on it. Nineteen, wake up. Goodbye. I hate those bitch. Things. Hate should make you deadlier. That looks like fear to me. All right, back to the door. So many dead bodies, dude. Another one. Fire at will. Oh, it took. Shepard, look alive. More adjectives. Elevator's on its way. We can't let them escape. the elevator again. Stay alert. Boom. All right, into the elevator. I'll seal the door. Just in case. On to the mines. What's eating you? Just processing. It's clear the general sealed that area to keep the adjutants in. Along with some unlucky soldiers. Yes. The creatures killed them, but didn't turn them into more adjutants. Can't shake it. Something's off. We just spooked. There's a rhythm to this place, Arya. To Cerberus. He stuck it out here, maybe he'll feel it too. Whatever's in our way, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. I can hear the drills. Damn it. 
They shouldn't be straining like that. Cerberus must be working them hard. Access to the reactor is somewhere on the upper level. Let's find a way up there. I don't care about finding stuff anymore, I'm just like, dude, let's just be done with Omega. They really be exploding. Exploding all day. How do we get down to the lower level? Cleanup has got to be a bitch, probably. I imagine so. Where's the one ladder that takes us down? Oh, it's right here. The access point to the reactor. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not there. The elevator to the reactor is across the way. I'm gonna make a run for it. Careful. 
place is falling apart. Strange. We're not being attacked anymore. Yep, be ready for any... What are you doing today, Karinja? What have you been up to? Why are you grinning, Arya? We're almost there. When the force fields come down, this war finally begins. For some of us, it started months ago. That wasn't more of a whole day is bullshit. Why? That was just warm up. Didn't do anything all day. I mean, Animal Crossing and dating sims. I commend you. What about Animal Crossing all dating sims? Looks like we were expected. More like lured. I knew the reactor would be the hard target. I gave you no choice but this route. It's too bad you're on the elusive man's side, Petrovsky. I'm on humanity's side. Raymond. You're the ones trying to start a war for the glory of Arya. But now it's over. This isn't over until your next of kin can't identify you. I love your bravado, but have the sense to know when you're beaten. You've been neutralized, and I can leave you there to rot. You might as well give up. Never! Arya, what are you thinking? I'm not going out like this. Arya, don't! <laughs> What the hell is she trying to do? Cool. Damn it, Arya, you're forcing my hand. I'll do it your way now. Hey, Reed, Max! I'm just gonna run in circles and just hit these mechs. <laughs> We're just running in circles, guys. Doing my laps. Don't hourglass me, boy. Got him. Didn't. I'm gonna make a hot gijinkas. Sometimes gotta make some hot gijinkas, yo. Do this, Commander. There's more at stake than you know. 
That reactor powers life support systems for dozens of wards across the station. Shut it down and thousands of people perish. You hearing this, Arya? Yes, and I don't care. Shut it down! Shepard, don't! Try rerouting power away from the force fields. Damn it. Hold tight down there. Rerouting the power to maintain the other systems. Are you crazy? We're almost spent. Nyree, watch your flank. This is who you're working for, Shepard. She doesn't care who gets hurt. You work for the elusive man. Don't even talk to me, dude. Just throw thousands of lives away. Shepard, Nareen's down. I'm stabilizing. You can't reroute power in time. Hit the fucking overload. Now. This shouldn't be that hard. Maybe something inside is holding you back. Maybe your mom. Down, you're starting to think the galaxy might be better off without her. She's never going to learn. She'll never change. Even if you win, Omega loses. Enough. That's right. your best efforts to kill me your soft heart almost cost me everything shut up Arya. no one Quiet, likes you Arya, it worked shepherd saved us without sacrificing innocent lives i applaud him i suppose people are having so much fun with animal crossing Whatever. i want to play bravely against those but i'm not gonna buy it at least not yet Very not until i have a stable but job again why can't you bring that same grit when adjutants attack it's pathetic you Tense up at the mere mention of those abominations. Leia, she just saved you. I'm trying to help her, Shepard. Call it tough love. The war's starting. I don't mean to miss it. She's never been big on thank yous. Yeah. We're almost done. Getting reports. All force fields down. Civilians taking to the streets in droves. Cerberus pulling back. That won't last. The people don't have the training to go up against Cerberus front lines. They'll be wiped out. Civilian casualties can't be avoided. You'll have to accept this. Say what you will, Arya. I won't allow senseless deaths. Do what you can to protect them. Of course, Commander. <laughs> Report. Great, engage. Delay them as long as you can. We're coming. Got it. Roll out, people. If they detonate the main column, they'll cut off the way to afterlife. The Talon offensive will be stopped cold. So we split up? Yes. Nyrene, lead the frontal assault. Shepard and I will meet you in the markets after we've taken care of those bombs. Of course. But don't count on me building your memorials if you get yourselves killed. Everybody else is going to build my memorial. Oh my god, get a room. Get a room, you two. The only route to the central column is through the tunnels.
Spamming four. Take out the catwalk. Ooh, max level. Meow. We can extend the dam in the control room. That should get us across. Let's go. what you want. Sending you the coordinates now. Is that my couch? It is your couch. Ooh. out from under him. Very inaccurate weapon. We need to get to the central column before Cerberus sets off those bombs. I mean, I love it, but it's very inaccurate. While in Mass Effect 2, it was the most accurate fucking weapon in the game. Besides sniper rifles, I guess. We're hitting less resistance. I think they're sending forces your way. Cool. They're messing with the support column. We have to stop them. Easy, let's go. Take care of the bomb, Shepard. I'll hand the server. Three left. Two more. That's right. Fuck your couch. We just one to go. Boom. Let's clear the room. Shepard. 
Over here. We're clear. Good. Nyreen, things are under control here. What's your situation? Move forward. Keep that flank covered. Yes, boss. We're holding our own, but Cerberus has started targeting the civilians. Cowards. Reports of casualties are coming in from all sectors. Save those you can, and head for the rendezvous point. We'll meet you there. We'll do what we can. Nyreen out. So how exactly do we get to Afterlife from here? I'm thinking the straightforward approach for a change. Let's go! The main street, baby! Walk down Main Street, baby. Servers. How do you know that? Never mind. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Getting messed up by the uh aberrations, whatever they're called. Adjutants, that's what they're called. Why are they called adjutants? Looks like they bit off more than they could chew. We should get a move on. With the civilian population contained, we should be ready to initiate the next phase of the project on schedule. Before host conversion, we should begin the process of fusing the control implants to the subject's nervous systems. With the current success ratio, we project being able to surpass demand by 300%. The first generation adjutants have been transferred from the containment area and are being outfitted with the implants. The previous batches have been processed and moved to the storage area. We can now control when and where the adjutants convert their victims. Initial testing on various species provides ample proof the virus can adapt flawlessly, regardless of the host used. With the civilian population contained, the four host converted with the current success ratio, we... What a bunch of dickbags. Those idiots were experimenting on adjutants. That explains the ones we saw earlier. Security. The doors only open one at a time. Makes sense, considering what they had locked up in here. The doors unlocked. Let's get out of here. So much are the worst, man. That doorway leads to the Gozu district. Look out! Oh, dang, that's Batarian. One so annoying, dude. Why is there stairs a ladder here? What's up here?
I liked it better when Morden Solis was here shooting up looters. Morden is dead. Pity. He was a very practical kind of player. It is a pity. Let's go, boys. Take out the turret. We're almost there. It just does look familiar. Goes to district looks nice. Let's just go. Give me the afterlife, so I can beat this dude up. What? What the hell? Oh, there's a uh, there's a door. Doors are overrated for sure. Let's go. my station of course something's not right not what i was talking about i'm checking this out going radio silent what the hell is she doing let's go where's nairene scouting ahead we've got our hands full holding this area all right well let us she's through. going on to afterlife She's dead, dude. She killed herself to get rid of all those adjutants, man. Dang, dude. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. That's it. Tell your boss. Dang. All right, let's go. She's she's mad, dude. She's. Oh, dang. She's ready. I'm gonna beat you there, though. Petrovsky dies now. All right, Arya, let's go. Petrovsky is gonna die. Nyrene Kandros was a good soldier. It's a shame she had to die for your petty. That's not why she died. She died because of your stupid man. fucking no, experiments, wait. bro. What now? He's like, it's your fault. That's a mac of a bad guy. I killed her, but it's your fault. Shut up. 
the prototypes for our future army. Why does a Russian have an English accent? Probably because he was raised in England. It's racist to assume otherwise. Alright, you want? Ow, fuck you. That's right, all service forces surrender. Cease and desist all aggression. It's over. Commander Shepard, I surrender myself into your custody. That is the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> She's just biotic fish slapped him. I'm unarmed, and I can give the Alliance intel on the elusive man. You'll say anything to save your skin. But I let you escape, Omega. I deserve mercy. Is this true, Arya? Yes. Cerberus had successfully taken the station and he let me go. Do you feel that, Oleg? That's death. Only inches away. Remember this feeling. I'm letting you go. For my partner and for the war against your master. You better cooperate. <laughs> yes, Arya is scary, scary. She said rule number one of uh, Omega: don't fuck with Arya. That's true. Get this filth off my station. Doing it. Glad to see you've had a calming effect on Ms. Tulok. I tried talking sense into her one time. I look forward to hearing how you pulled it off. Don't assume you know where this is going. What? From what I understand, high-ranking alive. Now that I've seen what you're capable of firsthand, maybe Arya's instincts were right. So, you're going to execute me. I'm your prisoner. You can't just shoot me in cold blood. If you don't tell the Alliance everything, I'm giving you back to Arya. 
Bray, get him out of here. <laughs> You've got good control, Shepard. I know it's hard to resist that impulse. I've been waiting to kill that man for months. Walk around with you for a few hours and I go all soft. You're like a disease. A very cute disease. This victory came at a cost, Aria. It's not soft to recognize that. You sound like someone trying to sell something. I admire your tenacity. It's kawaii. And thanks to you, I have Omega back. So what's your plan? There's a lot to rebuild. Starting with this command center. It may take some time to remove the general stink from my throne. Wonder if I'll ever really enjoy the pole dancing in here again. The citizens of Omega have been through a lot of it. Try to remember that. How can I forget? There are reminders everywhere I look. And don't worry. I'll honor our arrangement. Troops, ships, and a mountain of Izo. You earned it. Then That's I'll be right. Going. That's we'll right. Back. I have a station to whip into shape. Citizens of Omega, hear me. I, Arya Talok, have given you back your lives. My rule is reignited. My hand is on the controls once more, and I will not let go sure again. Not let go. Each of you owes a debt. Gain my favor by rounding up the remaining Cerberus invaders and... And we will cast them from our home. Then bury and mourn our dead. My methods haven't always been popular, and I can't promise that will change. But securing the station and everyone inside it is now my primary purpose. No one will imprison us again. We may be bruised. We may be bloodied. We are Omega. You always get these crap details, Bray? <laughs> Not this time. You got a galaxy to save. Let's get you off this rock. <laughs> she said, we are Omega. When you first meet her, she says, I am Omega. Contrast and change. Growth, that's right. With an F. Growth with an F. I said it with an F, not you. Thanks, I guess. Cool. Alright, so actually, what I'm going to do, take another break. And then, I'm going to 